it's really important to keep your roof clean and free of clutter and debris and keep your gutters clean because without that, your roof could become sick, just like we become sick. Well, missing shingles is step one. That's the first thing to notice. Leaks in the house, obviously. If you're running around with the chase the bucket game, you know, every time there's a rainstorm, you're running with the bucket. That's a definite way to have your roof checked. You know, we're, and a lot of people will say this, we're very low pressure. We just are there to educate the customer when we're in the home for them to make an educated decision about what company to choose for us to do their roof. Yeah, there you go. Now we got it. Good morning, folks. It's the weekend. My name's Adam Helfman. This is Higher It Done on 97 Won the Ticket. Dream Cruise Saturday. Get your hot rod out of your garage, and then when you pull out of your garage, make sure you know that you're ready to remodel it. That's right. You want to fix your garage up. You need an epoxy floor, some garage organizers. Just visit Hire It Done. We got you covered. Always as we always do here. Anyways, folks, got a great show lined up for us today. Um, we have Gail Goodman and Zach Goodman and Max Clark in studio. And we're going to say good morning to them in a second. Um, but I want to just uh, let you know, uh, it was good to have Jeff Lesson just finish his last show for the season. I always enjoy following him up because he's a true professional, which always helps. And for all those people out there right now who are tuning in to hire it done for the first time, this is the home improvement show that teaches you, the homeowner, how to fix, repair, or remodel everything within the four corners of your lot. But here's the deal, folks. I'm not a do-it-yourselfer. This show's a home improvement show, of course. But I want to make sure everyone knows I'm not anti-do-it-yourself. I'm just pro-do-it-for-me, which means... When it's time to hire a contractor, I'm going to give you the knowledge, the questions to ask, so that you don't get burned. It's pretty simple, and that's how we want it. We don't want anybody to get burned by contractors. And that's why HireItDone.com uh, allows you to get hassle-free home improvement. So with that being said, folks, I want to make sure that you all understand what we're doing here today. And I want to enjoy this show, and I want you to get great information. So pretend like you're sitting in a coffee shop right now. Pretend you're joining me in the conversation. We're having our coffee. Uh, get your pen and paper for all the great information we're going to give you. And join in. You can always text us, 97136. You can always email me, adam at hireitdone.com. Pretty simple. And uh, we'll, the goal is to give you great home improvement advice. That's it. Simple, good advice so that you can say, all right, when it's time to get a roof that doesn't leak, I know where to go. And speaking of roofing... We've got American Standard Roofing in studio. They have been with Hired Done since 2006, over 12 years. It's a long time. Long time. And joining in the conversation is Gail Goodman. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. How are you? I'm so good. I don't know what to do with this. I'm happy that you're here. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Happy to be here. Of course. We've got uh, Max Clark. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Adam. And uh, we got uh, Zach Goodman. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Good. So let's 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 reintroduce American Standard Roofing to the higher done audience. Gail, tell us a little bit about your company. It's been in business over twenty years. My husband started the company, and my late husband. It has consistently roofing, siding, gutters. And so you guys are busy this year, right? Very busy. It's yeah, been a great year. year. Um, so you guys have been doing roofs forever, and I got to be honest with you, you're. you're you're one of the original Hire It Done contractors. We've had nothing but a great mm -hmm. run. It's been amazing. Yes. So, you know, and here's one of the things I like to say about American Standard Roofing. Because when we preach to the listener, we preach out to contractors, we look for contractors that are solution-minded. And here's why. It's kind of, you know, cliche. Oh, solution-minded, what does that mean? Well, you, don't, you guys don't have x-ray vision. Max, you're on roofs all the time, right? Yeah. So you don't, you can't see when you're looking at plywood, you know, if it's rotted all the way through. No, definitely not. I mean, you can only see so much in the attic. Um, if you're walking the roof, you can um, sometimes you can tell, tell if it's, it's saw. Yeah, but you know, you really just don't know. And that's the thing. So when we talk about solution minded, it's I try and find contractors who, when they go to a homeowner's house, and the homeowner says, "Yeah, I think I need a new roof," you're there to solve the problem. And there are times when American standards have been out to a house, and this is what I like about this. 
where you guys have been out the house, you've told the homeowner, because Hire Done follows up after you've been out there, right? We say, hey, how'd it go? Did they show up on time? We want to know. And there's been many times where you guys have said, to, the homeowner said, you know what? American Standard came out. The guy was on time, clean. He climbed up on my roof, went in my attic and came down and said, you know what? You got two, three years before you need another roof. Oh, absolutely. And then, and I'm thinking to myself, now that is a company that is worth talking about because no. you, you're, you're there to sell them a roof. It's However, a reputation. We're not out to just cheat the customer. If they're not ready, we don't. We exactly. Put them exactly. And that's very smart. And that's why. And that's the, why they come back. Right. The majority of your business is referral. Correct. And so you guys get great reviews, great results. Excellent reviews. So, you know, Gail, let me ask you, are you guys busy this year? Yes, we are. So Very if a busy. homeowner calls American Standard Roofing uh, Monday or Tuesday, can you get out there this week? Oh, definitely. So the number is 248-350-2323 if you want to call American Student Standard. You guys are answering phones today? Yes, we okay. are. We are in the office until 2 p.m. And the website, AmericanStandardRoofing.com. Correct. And, of course, you can always see them on Facebook. You can see them through Hire It Done. It's pretty simple. Um, so, Gail, you have a busy year then. Yes. Have you been hearing about price increases? Correct. We have, but we have such a good reputation and such a good, um, what's the word I'm thinking, reputation with our yeah, suppliers. Well, you're, 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 your relationship. The word. We have an excellent relationship. Thank you. That was the word. With our suppliers that we have locked in the prices through the year. And that's really smart. And so, you know, one of the pre-screening things we do at Hired Done is that we call your supplier. We ask if you pay your bills on time. You know, and, and you know, we give the questions to the contractor. We say, here's what we're going to call. We're calling three of your homeowners. We're going to go see your work, and then we're going to call three of your suppliers, and we're going to ask them, do you pay your bills on time? If there's a problem, how do you solve it? Because, again, it goes back to being solution-minded. So with you guys, and this is what I like about it, because you guys buy from a few suppliers. Mm -hmm. You don't give it all to one, and that's Correct. pretty smart. Uh, but one of your suppliers, um, you know Lisa, so she uh, yes. raves about you guys and says, you know, listen, not only do they pay their bills on time, but they give us a good amount of work and they back it up. Oh, Meaning this is awesome. You commit to them and they committed to you. Correct. And that's what's good about it because knowing like the inner workings of roofing. And so a homeowner buys a roof from you, Max, okay? And you're ready to start it on a Monday or a Tuesday, weather permitting, correct? Of course. You guys order the shingles from the supplier day before, two days before? Yeah, two two days before, day before. We don't want the shingles sitting on your roof. Um, yeah, is there know. a benefit, by the way, to having the shingles delivered on the roof or on the on the ground, or depending on the pitch? Yeah, it depends on the pitch. Um, it also makes it a lot easier for our crews to uh, um, have it delivered on the roof. You know, um, sure. We we want them to pay attention closely to the tear off to the install. Um, so it just makes it a so little bit easier there. for them to. And do I just want to pipe in. I know some of the homeowners are a little leery about having it Definitely. delivered on the roof because they don't want the trucks in the driveway. But all of our trucks are rubber wheeled. The dumpsters are all rubber rubber wheeled. Right. So there should be no Smart. issues. So you when you roll a dumpster up, you know you know the old dumpsters folks used to be these huge heavy honking metal things <laughs> yeah. with metal wheels and they'd crack your concrete and everyone would be blaming the blame game, you know. But we got smart. Hey, let's just put real tires on the dumpster, yes. back it up, and we're all set. And so that's a, that's a good thing. So, um, yeah, let me ask you a question. So a homeowner buys a roof from American Standard. Do they have to give you a deposit? Sometimes. Not Sometimes, depending on if there's depending like Depending yeah. on the But most case. of the time, it's you pay most when the, the job's time, done. Correct. And that's the thing. Most homeowners, um, see, here's the thing. Most homeowners basically don't realize it. Now, I tell homeowners, if you're buying a roof, you don't give 50% down. And you guys never take a, a big deposit like that. If it's a finance deal or a cash deal, you know, it's like a $100 deposit sometimes. Yeah, Depends. Exactly. But the job is usually, what, one day? Yes, usually one day. So it's in and out. And so you guys, um, and this is another thing, I always you know, like to meet the crews. And uh, I've been on a few projects with uh, American Standard in the past, and I see the same crews year after year after year after year. So, you know, obviously... That's a telltale sign from an outsider that you guys are good. Because, you know, listen, crews are looking for the highest dollar, right? They want to get paid, and they want to get paid consistently. But the fact is, if they're loyal, that means that you guys are doing something right. So it's very impressive. It is quite impressive. Um, we're talking with Gail Goodman, Max Clark, and Zach Goodman from American Standard Roofing. And if you want a roof, folks, just give them a call, 248-350-2323. 
been in business how many years now, Gail? Over 20. Over 20 years. So you, did you know, Gail, 96% of all contractors fail in the first five years? It's a crazy statistic. It is. Yeah, so you've beaten the odds by, you know, three, four times. Oh, <laughs> Good for you. for us, yeah. yeah exactly. Um, we're not going anywhere. Of course not. Of course not. And that's the best part about it. Um, so, you know, there's a lot to roofing today. You know, the technology has evolved in the last 20 years. So um, product quality, installation quality, you know, the actual shingle used to be rated in pounds, in years, 10-year shingle, 15-year, 20-year shingle, 30-year. Today, it's different. Max, do you see a change in the way the shingles are do being done today? Yeah. Um, I mean, some manufacturers have, you know, their different ways of, of doing the shingle, um, you know, with the woven in fiberglass, pouring the asphalt, different fillers instead of, you know, newspaper and things right. like that. A little bit different now. But, yeah, definitely better quality. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, that's what I figured. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I want to talk about what is the best shingle? Is in intake, exhaust, ventilation, insulation, do those impact roofing? If you want to know about that, stay locked in, folks, because we'll be right back with American Standard. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to Hire It Done. 97 won the ticket. Welcome back, folks. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. This hour brought to you by Bolliard Lumber. Hire It Done program is brought to you part because they've given you free fasteners when you buy a Tipper Tech deck package through Bolliard Lumber and Hire It Done. So if you're getting your deck done this year, there's still time, and we got a great deal through Bolliard. Just visit HireItDone.com. And All Brick Design. Get 20% off through HireItDone.com. So if you're thinking of getting that brick paver porch done, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you got to do is go to Hire It Done, tell them you got a coupon, they'll, they'll honor it. If not, I'll make them honor it. <laughs> That's how we roll here. And back in studio is Gail Goodman, Max Clark, and Zach Goodman Hello. from American Standard. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. So the science of roofing, right? It's not just stripping the old roof and putting on the shingles and calling it a day. Would you agree, Max? Definitely not. So Definitely not like that anymore. There's co special components. There's the intake. Yep. We call the exhaust and the insulation. All three of those impact the life of your roof. Would you agree? I would have to say it's one of the most important parts of having your roof last the longest. Right. Now, to think of that in terms of yourself, it's like breathing. Correct. It's like we breathe, we live, we have to take a breath. Our house needs to breathe. Exactly. Without a properly if it doesn't, insulated house and ventilated, your house isn't breathing properly. That's smart. Exactly. So if it Just doesn't... For people to understand on a different level. Well, you know what? It's, it's important that you do that because sometimes we get a little too... I get too scientific. Exactly. So, Gal, thank you for You're welcome. letting the whole world... You know, so Thanks, here we got to do, we need to breathe, okay, <gasps> just like our house. <sighs> we'll take the level down just a notch. So now that we know that in order for your roof to last, it needs to breathe. Because there's really expensive shingles and there's cheap shingles. But Max, Max, and this is for you, would you agree if you take the most expensive shingle, okay, and would it be like a GAF, Manor, Prestige, yeah, whatever they call it? Certainty yeah, certainty. Yeah. So a high end. But if it's installed wrong, it's worthless, right? Absolutely. And... um. You know, I think the best thing comparing it to windows as well, I'd rather have a, um, a single pane window installed properly. If you have the most expensive and there's triple wind, pain, coming, low in, e. wind coming in, then it's BS. You know, it's, exactly. So the key, we, we beat this up here at Hired Done, is the actual installation. That's more important than the product. A hundred percent. Now, you guys are certified by uh, manufacturers, aren't you? Absolutely. Uh, we're Master Elite with GAF, so we can offer uh, not only our labor warranty package, but uh, their special extended manufacturer warranties as well. And that's what the uh, Golden Pledge? Yep. There's uh, starts at uh, just their basic and then Silver Pledge and Golden Pledge. Um, yeah. So do you recommend a homeowner, if they're, let's say they pick a, a GAF shingle, do you recommend going all the way with the Golden Pledge? Um, you know, you'd have to see their budget and, you know, we want to be, we want to do what's comfortable for them. Um, it is the best warranty. It, it's the best coverage for them. So it'd be the safest bet, you know. So if, what is the, what is the coverage or the warranty on that? Is so, it yeah, so it's a hundred percent coverage, I believe for 25 years, um, uh, with the manufacturer, not only that, but we give a 30 year labor warranty as well. So we're there to back it up as well. So them. Gail, I got a question for you. In 20 years, if there's a problem, are you going to go out and take care of it? 100%. Right. That's the best part about it. This is what I love about a good company like American Standard. It doesn't matter warranty or not. 
if you guys did the roof and there's an issue, I don't care how long it's been. In the last 20 years, it was in the first year of your business, if a homeowner called you this week and said, hey, I think there's something wrong with the roof, you're going out there oh, right we away. we check it. We right touch away. it, we own it. Our policy has always been we touch it, we own it. We service it. We have a service department. We service our work. Even if a shingle blows off and it's a it little happens. repair on the, our roof. Now, have you ever, Gail, you know, I don't know if this is too old because they haven't had it in years, any, man, uh, man, any shingles that have been defective. Has that happened? Have you ever had to go out and, I don't think so. Yes. Max, you, you've yeah. done that? Yeah, we, uh, it happened recently, actually, and we worked closely with the manufacturer. And they take care um, of it? They take care of it. They pay us to put the roof back on properly with non-defective material. Which makes sense. And the homeowner's probably happy as hell. Oh, yeah. Brand new roof. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So the average roof today is about a day? Yeah, typically a day. Um, I, I never promise it because things do happen. But Rain's at noon. they got to stop. Exactly. But we always make sure it's watertight 100% um, you know, for the next day. And then most important, the same crew is coming out the next day for to you fit, as well. Yeah, of course. That's the best part about it. Mm -hmm. So what about like one layer, two layer, three layer? Have you ever been to a house that has like three layers on it? I've oh, seen uh, four. Whoa. <laughs> we had so, one that was a four layer. Yep. Now, I mean, you have to charge extra to tear that off because it's a ton. Yeah. Like it, when we, you know, uh, Hired Dunn got involved with the Detroit Land Bank in the last three, four years, and we were overseeing renovation of homes. And in the city, um, the houses are so beautiful, right? They're, they have great bones, and you guys do a lot of work over there. Mm -hmm. um, but I noticed three, four layers, but I see like the first layer is cedar, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. And then you got two layers of asphalt or three. It's amazing. But what about underlayment, like uh, the, the plywood? I see like one by six. Or, you know, not yep. plywood board. You have to take that out and put pull plywood in now, don't you? Or can you just go over that? Yeah, so if, if they have, uh, with cedar, if they have the one by six and, you know, they're spaced out, we go right over it with uh, sheets of OSB. Okay, Absolutely. so you do. Yeah. So speaking of OSB or plywood for the roof or whatever it is, it seems to be one of those, you know, uh, gray areas in roofing because... You're there, you're inspecting, you can walk a roof, but you just don't know 100% how many sheets of plywood might need to be replaced. So when a, when a homeowner buys a roof from American Standard, do you include one or two sheets, or is it just it's 50 bucks a sheet or whatever the price is, and then it's you know based on that? Is there Does it make a difference? Yeah, uh, we always include, uh, depending on what your decking is, 40 feet of 1 by 6 three sheets of, of OSB for them. Um, and then it's, yeah, ad additional every other okay. foot or every so other So how sheet. often then? Three sheets is a lot that you inc include. That's good. Yeah. So the average sheet is four by eight, 32 square feet, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So about 100 square feet. Um, so how often do you have to get extra plywood? Um, is it rare? Know, or? You know what? We, we usually see it if there's major leaks in the home. Um, you know, we'll include extra for them to anticipate in that. In the original price. Yeah. Um, and then we're very upfront when it, when it does happen. It's the first thing we do. We tear off the roof, so it's the first thing we'll know about during the install and make them very aware of how so much So before a homeowner there. buys a roof from American Standard and they're not sure, and, and Max, you've been out there because you sell the actual roofs. Yeah. You say to the homeowner, Mrs. Homeowner, in your situation, there's probably more plywood that's rotted. I don't want to price it right now because it wouldn't be fair. But it's how, do you charge per per foot or per per actual sheet? Per actual sheet. And how much is that? Forty dollars a sheet. Okay, so that's not. Yep, and that's completely installed. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. So the guys will cut it, they'll install it, whatever it takes. So the homeowner knows you're coming to do my roof Tuesday morning, and there's a chance there's three, four sheets of extra plywood. Is it ever the whole roof needs to be redone? Uh, there's been some cases. Um, so you know, it's possible. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure of that. I just we just didn't had know. that recently. Yeah. I mean, there's just stuff you don't know. You you rip it. You know, you rip off the shingles, and you see it's just completely rotted from um, there. I could have checked in their attic, and it looked fine from there. But you tear it off, and it just, you know, one side just looks different than the other. So when you go on a house uh, to inspect a roof, and by the way, if anyone wants, if they're not sure if they need a new roof, call American Standard. Call. 248-350-2323. Again, 248-350-2323, in case you're not an old person. <laughs> and we're there today. Yeah, AmericanStandardRoofing.com. So my question is, when, Max, and you go out, you look in the attic, and you see the nails, but they look like they're rusted. What is that a sign of? It's a sign of water coming in. Okay, um, and if that's the case, um, that that means that there's, you know, moisture not ventilated what, what does that indicate down the road 
Yeah, I, it, it can just cause major problems for you. First, if you're not ventilated properly, then um, ice dams can occur. And they're going, we're in Michigan, they're going to occur, and that can cause even more damage for you. Right. And everyone, you know, thinks, oh, I bought a roof, you know, with ice and water shield. I shouldn't have ice damming. It's not true. Definitely not true. Even if it's the best insulated roof, the best ventilated, and the best ice dam, I mean, the best ice and water shield, you still could have potential for ice damming. Absolutely. It does happen. Now, what about, I hear people uh, advertise six feet of ice and water shield when code only offers three. Let's clarify that for the listeners. Yeah, um, I'm code is three, but it's from the the actual house dwelling, not the yeah um, from the, the, the inside wall. The inside wall. So if you have two three foot overhangs, then um, you need six feet. That would be code. Um, so that's trickery. Yep, absolutely. Fuzzy math. What about these nine dollar square foot roofers? You know, they charge per square foot or something like that. Is that who, who does that? Yeah, I mean, not you guys. Not definitely us. not us. So are you guys busy right now? We're extremely busy. So Absolutely. if a homeowner comes, you can come this week. Yep. And a homeowner says, I want American Center to do a roof. Can we get the roof installed in the next couple of weeks? Absolutely. Yes. Typically, yeah. that's where you're at, about a couple mm-hmm. weeks out couple after weeks the bank? And just so you know, Adam, there's no hidden costs. Right. The like, price is the we price. We give you a price. The permit's included. The dumpster's included. It's one price. The only thing that might be extra is if, like we talked plywood. about earlier, plywood. If you whip. But a lot of times, the homeowner's not totally shocked. Like, I know I recently finally redid my roof. I was not surprised to learn there was mold up there. I was expecting it. I was expecting my OSB to be replaced because I knew. Perfect. You haven't touched it. Love it. Love it. Well, can you believe how time flies, Gail? No. Unbelievable. And when you're having fun. Right. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Max, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, Adam. Zach, thanks for the input. Thank you. Say hi to Wally and the whole crew. Appreciate you coming. Hi, everybody. All right, folks. America's standing roofing. Everyone, Hello. We'll be back, folks. I'm Adam Helfman, and you're listening to Hire It Done on 97.1 The Ticket.